A bizarre and shocking tragedy here in Times Square last night. A young man either fell or was pushed from the third floor of the Broslin Hotel. But what makes this story particularly eerie is that he wasn't alone. According to eyewitnesses, accompanying him on his fall was what they called a small, grotesque monstrosity. This creature was also described as a fleshy oh my God. of unknown it's probably origin. on all the channels. And conflicting reports tell us that this strange little being might actually be human. A small, twisted deformity whose most startling feature is an unnervingly human face. A face that strongly resembles the young man who fell from the Hotel Broslin with him. This man has been identified as Dwayne Bradley, a resident of Glens Falls in upstate New York. Police spokesmen have promised to supply us with whatever information becomes available. It's down, isn't it? Absolutely. Details are still sketchy. But eyewitnesses claim that the monster, if we may use that word, lived in a large wicker basket that his companion carried with him at all times. So you knew him? Dwayne was one of the nicest, sweetest guys I ever met. It's horrible what happened. Did you see the creature? I saw him. I saw him real well. Do you know what it was? Yeah, his brother. The little guy was Dwayne's brother. Do you believe that shit, man? According to the records forwarded to us from upstate, Dwayne and his brother were born as Siamese twins. The um, smaller one was believed to have died during a clandestine operation that separated them. Let's go. We uh, also have reason to believe that among the victims of the Bradleys are apparently the doctors that performed that surgery. Hey, handsome. Hey, how you doing? So how are the uh, celebrities today? They're not going anywhere.
So were you here earlier? I mean, when they brought them in? No, I only got on an hour ago. Oh, you missed it. It was like a circus. There was TV cameras all over the place. It was wild. I'm sure. So you uh, want to do something after work? There's not a heck of a lot you can do at 8 in the morning. Well, I can think of a few things. I'm sure. Hey, I was only talking about breakfast. Yeah, I got work to do. Catch you later. Not bad. Not bad at all. That me boy has distinct possibility. to be here. The nurse at the front desk let me in. Good. Then that's who we'll talk to no, first. No, we'll talk to Bradley Stop. He said it was all right. He said I could have five minutes with them. I am afraid you are making a very big mistake. Yeah, well, we'll just see about that. I thought they were all gone. She must have come up through the cafeteria. I found her on the fourth floor. I have permission from the head of this hospital. Let me here. see some ID. Oh, I was told this would all be arranged, that I would have full cooperation of the entire staff. I only want five minutes with them. Nobody has to know. It'll just be a favor. No big deal. Let me check on this. I help you out. You help me out. We agree? Uh, no. This ain't good. Well, this would just get me all depressed and angry. This is just the kind of thing that'll make relations between us real ugly. Real bad. Is that what you want? You want me to get real mad? I just want five minutes with them. Lady, you've got a real fucking attitude problem. You know that? before someone sees, please. Come. <laughs> 